Go. Uh, go ahead. Go see Addy. Go see Addy. Go see Addy. Go see Addy. Where is Addy? Uh -huh. That's that's not good parenting there. Oh. <laughs>Welcome back to another edition of Cooking Chris's Dishes with the Good Old Boy. That is me, where we cook up dishes straight from RecipesThatCroc.com, which is my beautiful wife's cooking blog. It has well over 500 recipes now and rising. And today we're going to have a little sweet treat for y'all. This is a chocolate lava cake. Do you love the lava? I know I love the <laughs> lava. It's, it looks, if you look here in front of me, this looks like it's going to be quite complicated. It's just because you've got a lot of ingredients. Yes. So I guess you could say that would make it complicated. <laughs> but I made this before we went on a walk, and it took less than five minutes to put together. And in, what, an hour and a half, it was ready to go. So it may look complicated, but just pay attention. Go back to the site at recipesthatcroc.com and check out the recipe card, and you'll see that it's really not that hard at all. You will need the following ingredients for this chocolate lava cake. <laughs> you need... A cup and a half of hot water, you need a half a cup of milk, you need a half a cup of sugar, a cup of flour, you need some oil. How much oil is that? Two, two tablespoons. Two what? Tablespoons. Two tablespoons of oil. You need a teaspoon of vanilla. A teaspoon of vanilla. You need two teaspoons of baking powder. Maybe four teaspoons in case you dump the first two. <laughs> you need a half a cup or Mm, fourth of a cup of chopped walnuts. Or pecans if you don't have walnuts. Any yes. nuts will do. Yes. You need one half teaspoon of salt. Yes. You also need cocoa. Now watch. This is where it might seem complicated to some people. It complicated me. You need two tablespoons of cocoa in one part, four tablespoons of cocoa in the other part, and then a half a cup of brown sugar. This is separate from this. Nah, uh -uh. Oh, 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 this there you is separate go. from this. <laughs> so we're going to start with the right or my right side, be your left side. Let's start over here, okay? <laughs> take your. We're gonna take, yeah, we're going to take all our dry ingredients except for the nuts. All your dry, yeah, the nuts, actually they're separate on their own. Yeah. I'm making this more complicated than it should be. Sugar in a bowl. Yes. Flour, same bowl. Baking, Baking powder. powder. <laughs> Same bowl. Long day. Two, Two tablespoons of cocoa. Same bowl. Salt. Same bowl. Now, take your... No, 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 no. No, 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 no. <laughs> what did I do? Now mix up your dry ingredients. Oh, that's right. Mix up your dry ingredients. Kind of, you know, it's a party. Party in a bowl. It's a lava party. I love a good party. See what I did there? Oh my. Mix it up in the bowl, kind of get them all incorporated together. Let the cocoa meet the flour, let the flour meet the sugar, let the sugar meet the baking powder. And they'll all get along. Somebody got assaulted. <laughs> oh. oh, party vow. <laughs> student has become the master <laughs> in the pun department. Now we've got it all incorporated. What's next, dear? <laughs> now you're going to add your milk, your oil, and your vanilla. Half cup of milk in a same bowl. Your oil in a same bowl. And your vanilla. Yep. In the same bowl. It's going to become a really thick batter. Yeah, that's not a lot of liquid for a whole lot of dry stuff. And at the ear, ear just a little bit, I'm going to put this here so you can kind of see what's going on. We've made a lava cake similar to this with the raspberry lava cake. Same concept. It's going to look like it's going to turn into cement. You just got to keep stirring and let all the dry mix with all the wet. My wife's over there cringing because I'm putting glass on... <laughs> Ceramic and it's I'm just that thinking sound. the audio is going to pick up. Clang, clang, clang. Sure <laughs> Let's go back over here and you can just watch me stir. <laughs> it's a good arm workout. <laughs> you can practice your dance moves. Oh my. 
my daughter's over there giggling. You think daddy's got good dancing skills? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So you get all your dry mixed with all your wet, and you've pretty much made chocolate paste. Yes. Now yeah. you can maybe show them what that looks like. Yeah. Let's get that all. Now look at it. Looks like that. There you go. Yeah, that's pretty. And then before I put that in there, wait, wait, really wait. drive my wife crazy. Oh, oh, time out. You forgot the nuts. Oh, nuts. <laughs> Take your nuts, put them in there, and fold them in. Yeah. Just like that. Because every party's got a few nuts in it. <laughs> all right. Pretty much all folded in there like that. Yep. And now, before I put this in my slow cooker, I definitely, because this is a cake, you want to spray down your slow cooker with a little bit of cooking spray so that it don't stick. So and for baked goods, we like the kind that has flour in it. Okay, that's enough, dear. Now I'll put... <coughs> I'm sure your Much. camera's coated now, too. <laughs> it's like a, a fog machine went off. Hey, what's a cool party without a fog machine? <laughs> Let me put that in there, just like that. All gooey and yummy and scrumptious. Notice there were no eggs in this chocolate lava cake. Which means there were no raw ingredients in this chocolate lava cake. Which means when I get done spreading out my chocolate lava cake in the bottom of my slow cooker, as you see me doing right now, and this is what you should do too, I'm going to lick the spoon. <laughs> That's my favorite part of every recipe. Well, not every recipe, because when I do raw chicken, I'm not going to lick the spoon. <laughs> don't, don't lick your spoon with raw chicken. But with a chocolate lava cake, you're putting in all this hard work with this semi-complicated recipe. Lick the spoon. Mm. <laughs> My daughter, lucky. <laughs> okay, now for the lava. What you want to do in a separate bowl. Let me grab a fork real quick. So I'm gonna stir it up. You want to take your was it a half cup? Of brown sugar. Oh, no, it's three fourths cup. Three fourths cup. Ooh, that could have been bad. Three fourths cup. Definitely of brown go sugar. to the blog post for this. Go one. to the post. Go to the post. <laughs> do not do as I say. Do as I do. Well, don't do as I do either. Watch this for entertainment purposes. You go to recipesofcrock.com and check out the chocolate lava cake. Your four tablespoons of cocoa and your one and a half cups of water. And hot water. That is hot water. Why hot water? Because hot water is going to melt your sugar a lot better than cold water. So I'm going to stir that up, get the cocoa all soaked in to that water and that brown sugar. I could drink this. I won't. <laughs> but I could. And now all you do is take that slurry that you just made. And that, it does. It looks like cocoa. It's all mixed up. And pour it over the top of that batter in there. Now, if you're looking in this camera, there's some people who've never made a lava cake, or you make traditional cakes, and you say, you just ruined that cake, because <laughs> you just soaked it up. You just, you just... And by some people, you mean you, when you first Pretty much. The first time I ever made it, I went, oh, I screwed that up. <laughs> because look, that's all water on top of that cake. Show you a little kitchen magic here. Let me clean up my station. Well, first off, I'll tell you that you cover it up and then you set it on high for one and a half hours. Keep an eye on it after an hour just to make sure. One and a half to two be, hours. Right. Okay. But at about an hour, kind of watch for it. 
because you're going to see something and you're going to understand and say, oh, that's what it does. Let me get this out of the way. And Boy, you've made a mess. Are you going to clean that up? Yeah, I'll clean that up later. <laughs> <clears throat> when you get done, it's going to look like that. Except not now, with a hole in it. <laughs> yeah, yours might not have a hole in it, but we did a quickie video with this, and of course you see where we scooped out. But what I want to show you, look on top here. Yes, I'm going to touch my food. It's my house. On top, it is set just like a cake. And you're like, where'd all that liquid go? Because the lid stayed on it. The liquid is right there. Look at that. Look at that drippy, drippy, drippy stuff right there. All that stuff that was on top soaked down into the cake, so it got done on top. You can see some of the nuts in there, and it just this chocolatey goodness right there. And in the bottom, you've got your lava. So I'm gonna grab me a piece of that cake. Spoon in my bowl here. And then dip back in there with my ladle spoon, I guess you call it. And there's your lava right on top. It's hot. It's like a chocolate syrup that you've made in your cake. And then, what's a good chocolate cake without some ice cream? That's why I like it, because you got that hot lava cake. You want to cool it down with a little bit of ice cream. And there you have it, my friends. My crop posse. You have <laughs> chocolate lava cake with vanilla ice cream. You know whose favorite dessert this is? Mine? <laughs> Miss Liz loves this dessert. Our friend Liz? Yes. Liz from Farm Wife Cooks mm -hmm. absolutely adores this. Well, we absolutely adore Liz. Right yes, here, so. yes. She, we make it, or she asks for us to make it. Thank you, Liz. <laughs> We're not taking requests, especially if they're that good. Oh my gosh. Mm-mm-mm. Oh, sorry, <laughs> here. Mm. Can we interrupt you? Sorry. <laughs> the nuts give it a crunch. The, um, the chocolate. You can't even um, talk. I can't. It is so good. <laughs> if you like chocolate, this is it. This is the thing for you because it's got the cocoa powder in it. You mix that with the sugars. It's a really good homemade chocolate cake. Mm -hmm. You take that to a party, then you're gonna make friends. <laughs> Even the nutty ones. <laughs> you make that at home, you might not wanna have any friends over. You just might wanna eat that. I just wanna sit there and eat this. Mm. Okay, so good. Of course, when you put it with ice cream, it's really good. But it looked a little complicated. Really not that hard to make. Easy enough to make the redneck like me could do it. I know y'all can. So uh, we want to thank you guys for watching this episode of Cooking Chris's Dishes with the Good Old Boy. And if you would and you have not already, we, our little family, as you can see of subscribers, would like for you to join our crock posse. <laughs> that is now the new official name of our fan base, the crock posse. We should get t-shirts made. Oh boy, here we go with the t-shirts again. We all think, would y'all want a Croc Posse t-shirt? We'll think about designs and stuff like that. We's gonna form a posse and we's gonna round up all kinds you of said good you, recipes. You said you were gonna wear your, your cowboy hat for that. Oh, I was. Oh well. I'll wear it for another episode. Hey Eddie, grab my cowboy hat. I know, I was actually just about to do that. She wants a bite of the cake. My costume girl. Here you go. <laughs> We's gonna form ourselves a posse, a crock posse. Is that better? Is that what you wanted? And I, I don't know that that's what I wanted. But oh, okay. I know what I wanted. <laughs> I wanted another bite of chocolate lava cake as we say goodbye. If you have not subscribed yet, down at the bottom there's a little button that says subscribe. And also, if you would check us out and give us a like over on Facebook at Recipes That Crock, also on Twitter at Recipes Crock. Also at Instagram at recipes that crock. Hang on a second, I'm taking a break. <laughs> mm. And we will show you so many more dishes just like this. 
that are delicious, I'm not supposed to chew with my mouth open. I'm not supposed to talk with my <laughs> mouth full. <laughs> this is so good you can't think straight. Alright. Oh my. It's this, the potatoes. Oh. One the potatoes are done. <laughs> we want to thank you guys for watching another episode. You uh, keep watching and we will keep cooking and all will be well. Bye. Wait, don't start recording yet. Come here. Oh, <laughs> Dad, that was mean. <laughs>